Hey all, welcome to another Avid tutorial. This is a quick primer on how to change your keyboard shortcut settings. This is a question I get asked commonly. And one of the great things about Avid is it can be so fast and so efficient if you have your keyboard set up to do the things that you do the way that you want to do them without having to resort to a mouse or dragging things around. That's one of the things I love about Avid. And let me just show you quick how to do that. I'm going to go into my settings, command comma on a Mac. And you'll see at the top here, I have several tabs for where different settings are, format, project, user, and size. These are user settings because they're tied to your particular user profile. So if you switch to somebody else's profile, they will have different user settings and different keyboard settings. This is another nice thing about Avid is the user settings are very portable. So if you are working in one place and you have to move to another computer, you can just throw your user settings on a flash drive or email them to yourself or whatever and bring them onto Avid on that new computer and you'll have all your keyboard shortcuts and stuff set up. So in the user settings under keyboard, I'm going to double click on my keyboard here to see what my shortcuts are. So you can see it has all of them labeled. These are the shortcuts for if I just hit the button. If you hold down shift, you'll see another set of keyboard shortcuts. These are for if you push a key with the shift button held down. So for instance, you can see here, if I have the shift button held down and press Y with it held down, I'm set to toggle clip gain. Whereas if I just hit Y without shift held down, it's toggling on and off the waveform. So you basically have two keyboards worth of things you can set up, the main keyboard and then the shift keyboard, if you will. So there's several ways I can do this. And let me show you the two sort of common ones. One is to pull up the command palette, which is under your tools, or you can hit command three. And this will show you a pretty good sampling of the various functions and things that you may want to do in Avid. So let's just do a simple one and say, you know, I'm working with some video that has more video tracks and I want to be able to toggle on and off tracks V3 and V4. And notice on my default keyboard, I just have V1 and V2 because I usually don't work with things with a lot of video tracks. But let's say I have that. I'm going to make sure on the command palette that this is highlighted. It says button to button reassignment. And I'm just going to take this and drag it down to whatever key I want that to be. So let's say I want my F4 key to toggle V3. There, done, just that simple. The active palette actually makes these active buttons. So if I have this set and I click on one of these things, it will actually do whatever that button is. So if I click this here and I had a sequence up, it would toggle on and off V3. In fact, let's demonstrate that quick. I'll just make a new sequence in here. Okay, so there's a new sequence and I have this set on active palette. So if I push V3, you'll see down here it is toggling on and off the V3 on that. So this is not for setting the keyboard. This is actually if I have my command palette up because I want to just do some of these things by clicking them up here. I don't ever use that to be honest, but it's there if you want to use it. So button to button reassignment is for this. And then if I decide I want to put something else here, I can just drag something over it. So let's say I actually want F4 to be tool palette. I can put that there or actually I want it to be fine bin. Let's put that there. And I'm like, actually, you know, I don't like any of those. I want to get rid of F4. I'm going to go to my blank and just drag a blank there and that'll get rid of whatever shortcut was there. So that's button to button reassignment. Uh, the other one that's really powerful and I think often underutilized is the menu to button reassignment. So there are a ton of options here for things that I can easily just drag onto my keyboard and make shortcuts with. So you have a lot of your Avid functions here. But there are definitely some things that I like to do a lot that aren't on here. For instance, I like to be able to toggle my waveform as I have button Y here off and on quickly. You know, maybe I'm syncing some audio or looking for where somebody talked or stopped speaking. But I also know that if I have a lot of tracks up, sometimes it slows things down a little bit, redrawing or processing clips. If I have the waveform on all the time, particularly if I'm way zoomed out and it's trying to read, you know, 10 tracks of two hours worth of audio and draw the waveform for all that, it's going to slow things down. So I like to be able to just toggle that off and then I pop it on when I need it. But that's not on any of these. So for that, I'm going to need to use a menu to button reassignment. So first off, you need to find where the menu function is that you want to do. And it could be a menu function up here in your main menu, or it could be a function in one of the hamburger menus. So like the audio one, for instance, is down here, audio data, and there's waveform. So that's where I find that. So make sure I know where that is. 
Now, this one I'll say is just a little bit tricky because you have to do something backwards of what you would think. So even though I set this to menu to button reassignment, I have to start with the button. So in this case, let's say I want to make, let's say shift K. So I'm holding down shift. I want to make shift K be, let's just make it another waveform button since I just showed you where that is. So you'll see once I have this set to menu to button and I bring my cursor over the keyboard, you'll see the icon changes. It's this sort of white rectangle with black dots in it. I don't really know what it's supposed to be. Okay, so I'm holding down shift and I'm gonna click on the K button there because this is the shortcut I wanna make is shift K. And I do that and you see it highlights now. So what it's saying is, okay, I know you wanna put something in that button. This is now ready for you to do something there. So now I'm gonna to go to the menu function and it's not gonna actually do the menu function, it's just looking to see what menu function I want and then it's gonna put that in that button. So I'll go down here where I found this under audio data and say waveform and this pop back to normal and you'll see now I have waveform as my shift K button right there. What I love about this is even though you have all these functions up here, it's not just those. Basically anything that's in any menu up here or any of the sub menus or the hamburger menus, you can go and make that a keyboard shortcut. And you can adjust your keyboard to match the way you work. If you like to work with your left hand instead of your right, I've seen people who have you know, their in and out and play functions over on the left side of the keyboard. If there's something that you use a lot that maybe not everyone does, like waveform for me, I can make a keyboard shortcut for that. You know, I know the H key in the default Avid keyboard is focus. I don't use the focus function a lot. I like having add edit there, probably because I learned Avid a long time ago when that was the default place for that function, but I just have the muscle memory now, so I like to map that there. So you can set all these keyboard buttons to do things that you do a lot and make this work for you and make you work efficiently the way that you work, and I love that. The other thing I want to point out is you actually have two keyboards. So I'm going to close this and you'll see under keyboard here, I have two options. And so I could actually have two full sets of keyboard shortcuts that are different. So let's say maybe I have one set of keyboard shortcuts for while I'm logging footage or going through clips and kind of finding what things I want to use and another set of keyboard shortcuts for when I'm doing fine tuning, trimming and polishing. And maybe I want some different functions available there. I can go to the second keyboard, do the same thing, double click on it and bring it up and edit things however I want. You'll notice this one doesn't have that shift K shortcut because I didn't put it on this one, I put it on the other one. So I can set both these keyboards however I want and then I can be on this keyboard for when I'm doing my main editing and then when there's some other function I wanna use that I have different keyboard shortcuts set up for, I can just click the little box over here and switch over to that keyboard. So for instance, I have one set up for if I'm doing some multicam editing, which I don't do a ton, but when I'm doing it, there's some different buttons I like to have more readily available than when I'm doing basic single cam editing. So I can easily switch between these two keyboards and they're both within the same user settings. You could also set up different user profiles with different keyboard shortcuts. So hopefully that's helpful in seeing how to customize your keyboard for the way that you work. And here's a quick close up of my keyboard. I'm not saying this is the best keyboard layout. I'm saying it's a keyboard layout that works for me in the way that I work. And it's kind of the one I teach my students. But the important thing is it works for me. So it has a lot of the shortcuts in their default layout position, but then some other things that I've changed to reflect the way that I work and what I find the most efficient. So this is certainly one that I find useful and I don't think it'd be a bad idea if you don't really know where to start with your keyboard shortcuts to start by taking a look at some of these and see if these are things that work well for you. Hope that was helpful. You know the drill, like and subscribe. And also I'm looking for what things people want to know for this sort of short little micro tutorial. So if there's something you've been trying to do in Avid or trying to figure out and you want a quick down and dirty tutorial on it, post something in the comments and let me know and I'll see what I can do. Thanks.